Today we're comparing the Bose Alto frames and the Zungo Viper sunglasses. We'll compare their features, break down their pros and cons, and see which is the right pair of shades for you. Welcome back guys, Eric here. Today we are breaking down the Zungo Viper sunglasses versus the Bose Alto frames. Before we get started, I do want to mention if you guys want to jump ahead to any part of today's video, I'll be sure to include timestamps down below in the description box, as well as links to where you can find either one of these sunglasses online. Also guys, full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid either by Zungle or by Bose. Both of these sunglasses were sent to me for review, but all the opinions expressed in this video are my own. With that being said guys, let's now start today's comparison. So I'm gonna break down today's comparison into seven parts. I'll be covering areas such as their design, their comfortability, their audio quality, and their durability. After that, I'll tell you which one I would pick if I was in the market for a pair of audio sunglasses. Again guys, if you wanna jump ahead to a specific one area of the comparison, feel free to check out the timestamps in the description box below. So when it comes to their design and comfortability, I will say that both of these sunglasses have similar builds. And I'll talk about the materials they're made out of in just a bit, but the main thing you need to know is that both of these sunglasses have bulkier frames than their regular non-audio sunglasses counterparts. But again, that is to be expected because pretty much the only way to fit in audio technology within sunglasses is to thicken the frames just a bit. I love that both of these frames are designed for hands-free listening while keeping your ears free and open. Now between the two, you will notice that the Bose Alto frames do have slimmer temple earpieces near the end. You will notice that the thickness on the Zungo Vipers continues throughout from the beginning to the end of the temple frame. The other thing I like on the Bose frames is that the branding is much smaller than on the Zungo Vipers. As you could see on the Bose Alto frames, the Bose logo is near the back of the frame itself and it's very small and hard to see. Whereas on the Zungo Vipers, it's more towards the front and the logo is larger. The Bose frames also do come with a hard carrying case while the Zungo Vipers do not. Now in terms of comfortability on my head, I'm also gonna give the Bose Alto frames the edge over the Zungo Vipers because personally on my head, they do feel a little more comfortable. They do feel a little less tight. Again, both of these have bulkier frames, but the Zungo Vipers feel a little tighter on my head. But if you have a smaller head, then the Bose Alto frames might feel a little loose. So it really just depends on your head size. But for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the edge to the Bose Alto in terms of design and comfortability. So with that, I'll give one point to the Bose Alto frames. Now moving on to the audio quality, the Bose Alto frames have miniaturized Bose speakers inside the frames, whereas the Zungle have Vibra bone conduction speakers inside the frames. While I can't really tell you the exact science behind either one's technology, what I can tell you is that they both have surprisingly clear audio and it's very discreet. With either pair of sunglasses, once they're on your head, it's really hard for other people to hear your music unless of course you're blasting it to the max volume, which I wouldn't recommend by the way because that really does take away the discreetness of the audio sunglasses. Now you would think because of the Bose name, the audio quality would be much better on the Bose frames, but to my ears, in terms of audio quality, they are pretty much on the same level. I tested both of these sunglasses listening to music with the Amazon Music app, listening to videos on YouTube, and I even listened to an audiobook with Audible. And again, the audio experience was pretty much the same between the two pairs. The audio was clear and the Bluetooth connection remained consistent. So for those reasons, I'm gonna call the audio quality a tie and I'll give one point to each one. One point to the Zungle Vipers and one point to the Bose Alto. Moving on now to the battery performance. So the Bose Alto frames have a battery life of three and a half hours of continuous music playtime and up to 12 hours in standby mode. The Zungle Vipers on the other hand have four hours of continuous playtime and up to 100 hours in standby mode. Keep in mind guys, the battery performance will also vary based on the volume at which the music is played. In terms of charging, the Bose frames take two hours to recharge, whereas the Zungle Vipers only take one hour to recharge. So with an extra half hour of music playtime and half the time to recharge them, I'm gonna give the slight edge to the Zungle Vipers here in terms of battery performance, so I'll give one point to the Zungle Vipers. Next up, we have the lens specs and customization. Now this is a category where the Zungle Vipers win by far. To start off, both sunglasses have lenses with UV protection. However, in terms of polarization, only the Zungle Viper lenses are polarized. The lenses on the Bose frames are not polarized. And I don't know about you guys, but for their premium price, I really feel Bose should have included polarized lenses. In terms of the colors of the sunglasses themselves, the Bose Alto frames only come in one color option, matte black frames with black lenses. The Zungle Vipers, on the other hand, they come in three different frame colors. You can get a matte black frame, a matte white frame, or a matte gray frame. They also offer up to eight different colors of lenses, such as black, blue, titanium, clear, green, red, purple, and orange. But one of the cooler features with the Zungo Viper sunglasses is that they actually let you swap out your lenses so you can buy one pair of frames but have multiple pair of lenses 
effectively giving you multiple pair of sunglasses for the price of one. So with those factors in mind, I'm easily going to give an edge to the Zungo Vipers in the lens specs and customization category. I'll give one point to the Zungo Vipers. Next up, we have their built-in technology features. So both of these sunglasses utilize Bluetooth 5.0 technology. Both of them allow you to listen to music apps such as Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. They allow you to listen to navigation apps such as Google Maps or Waze. And they both kept a consistent connection to my phone. Both of these sunglasses also have an integrated microphone, so you can both take and make phone calls with their AI voice control. Both also have a dedicated multifunction button, which gives you access to Siri and Google Assistant, and both of the buttons allow you to play and pause music on your app. However, there are two technology areas where Bose comes out on top by far. Firstly, it's the Bose Connect app. So the Bose frames come with a dedicated app called the Bose Connect app, and this app allows you to receive updates to your Bose Alto frames straight from the app. It'll also allow you a way to receive software updates, and they do say that software updates in the future will unlock new features as they become available for your Bose frames. But the even cooler technology feature is that the Bose frames are what's called Bose AR enabled. And basically what this means is that it's Bose augmented reality. So one of those software updates I talked about is the Bose AR. And essentially what this means is that on Bose's website, they do say that several third-party augmented reality apps have partnered with Bose and are developing experiences for Bose AR-enabled devices, such as these Bose frames. Now, the Bose AR apps aren't available now, but they are in development, so they will be available in the future. So with those two technology features, I definitely have to give the edge to technology to the Bose frames and one extra point to Bose. Next up, we have their durability. The Bose Alta frames are drip resistant with an IPX2 rating, but the Zungo Viper sunglasses are sweat and splash resistant with an IPX4 rating. Now neither one is fully waterproof and neither one is designed to be submerged underwater, so don't go swimming with either pair of these sunglasses. In terms of the materials, both frames are made of plastic materials, but the Bose frames do have metal hinges, so that's definitely a plus because the Zungo Vipers do not. So when it comes to durability, I will say that both have a unique advantage in the durability department. The Bose Alto frames have metal hinges, but the Zungo Vipers have a higher IPX rating against sweat. For that reason, I'm going to call this category a tie and give one point to both of them. And the last category is the price. So the Bose Alto frames come in at $200, whereas the Zungo Viper sunglasses come in around $150 to $160. And additional sets of lenses in different colors are only $20 extra a pair. So for the lower price, I'm going to have to give the edge to the Zungo Vipers and one extra point to Zungo. So as you could see, I ended up with six points for the Zungo Vipers and four points for the Bose frames. Which one would I pick though if I had to pick one? Well, first let me get this out of the way. Both of them have clear sounding audio. Both of them give you that nice, discreet design, allow your ear to be open and free. And both of them have bulkier frames than regular sunglasses. So up to this point, it's pretty much been a wash. But if I was in the market for a new pair of audio sunglasses, personally, I would go with the Zungo Vipers, and here's why. Don't get me wrong, the Bose frames do have impressive audio, but honestly, so do the Zungo Vipers. The quality is pretty much on the same level to my ears. But the main reason why I would choose Zungo Vipers is the polarization. The Bose Alto frames not having polarized lenses is a deal breaker for me, unfortunately. I am one of those people that I've been wearing polarized lenses for a long time, and I really can't see myself going back to non-polarized lenses. Again, like I said, the anti-glare factor with polarized lenses versus non-polarized lenses, it's a huge difference. So that's the main reason for me. The second reason I choose the Zungo Vipers is that they do offer a lot more customization of their frames and lens colors. The Bose frames do have a nice clean look. There's no denying that. It's a nice, clean, classic, black matte look. You can't go wrong with that. But if you do want some more customization, some more colors available, different lens colors and frame colors, you're gonna wanna definitely consider the Zungo Vipers because they do offer that customization. Plus, you can swap out your lenses and effectively have multiple pairs of sunglasses in one. The last reason I would choose Zungo Vipers over the Bose Alto frames is simply the price difference. Like I said, here you're paying $200 for the Bose frames. Here you're paying around $150 to $160 for the Zungo Vipers. Plus, if you want to get some extra lenses, essentially you could pay basically $200 for the uh, Bose frames, or you could pay that same $200 for the same price and get a pair of Zungo Vipers plus two extra set of lenses in different colors. So at the end of the day, guys, if you're in the market for a pair of audio sunglasses, you really can't go wrong with either one of these. I just personally think you might be paying a little more of a premium for the Bose frames simply for the Bose name. Now, if you would like to learn more about either one of these sunglasses, I did do more in-depth reviews on both of these sunglasses individually. So I'll link up those cards right up there to the right if you want to check those out. 
Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.